In this tutorial, I want to show you a way where you can quickly share what you have on your local host with anyone in the world. Now, who will find this useful? Usually people who work in a team where they would like to show their progress to their team manager or the freelance person who wants to show their progress to somebody. You can usually share your progress after you deploy your code, either to a staging environment or to a temporary web server. But sometimes this process could take a long time, especially when you have little changes that you want to make. So a way to fix that would be to use something called ngrok. ngrok allows you to tunnel your local host into a temporary URL. And this is all real time, meaning if you want to make a change and show it to your manager and he or she looks at it and say, hey, I would like to make this small change here. You can quickly make a change on your local host and then update the URL. The URL will automatically be the same and it will be up updated with the change you just made. So your manager, all they have to do is to refresh the website. You don't have to deploy your code anywhere. So this is extremely useful if you want to quickly make changes and show it to people. So to get started, ngrok allows you to uh, tunnel your local host to any firewall or NAT. And it's, it's free if you have one single connection. So to get started, go to ngrok.com. And you need to sign up for an account. It's free. As you can see in the pricing page, uh, you get one online NGROC process and four tunnels and 40 connections per minute, which is good for most cases. But if you want to support their servers, you can definitely pay for basic or pro or business accounts. I just want to say we are not affiliated with NGROC. I just find this tool very useful and I'd like to share with you guys. So to get started, go to the downloads page and then download the application to your computer. In my case, I'm using OSX and it will download the OSX executable. You can unzip the file and then you can connect to your account. You can connect to your account by running the actual ngrok bash script. I don't know, or actually, I don't know if it's a bash script, but you can run the process with the command off token and enter your off token to it. Now this is the token that you'll get once you log once you sign up and log in, you'll see your off token. And then that's it. That's all the setup process. And I'll show you how to use it in real time. So I have a project here that I made for a previous tutorial called Sticky Sidebar for React.js. And this is currently running on port let's start it again so i go into the project you guys can clone it on my github page if you want to follow along um, i start the server and it's running on port 3000 right now so this is a very simple you know application that shows you you can sticky things to your sidebar um, so if i want to show somebody what i have on my local host 3000 i want to use ngrok to do it so in order to do that, let's start another terminal session. And I downloaded my ngrok executable in my downloads folder. So all you have to do is do dot slash ngrok HTTP, and then the port that you want to tunnel into. So in my case, the application runs on port 3000. And I just need to enter this command, and then ngrok will start the the service for me and then what's important is you need to look at here it gives you both non-secure and secure URL so HTTPS or HTTP they both work so I'm just gonna go to this randomly generated URL here now this is a public URL so anybody can access it and look at it as you can see the content is actually what's on my localhost isn't that amazing now if I go to my application and then I'm gonna like change something here. Uh, let's see. So go to source application. Now I just want to change the title. Welcome to React. Add a two to it. So if I do the if I change this title to Welcome to React two, 
if you now here's what I have on local now if I go to the internet you see that it locally on the ngrok server it automatically reloads and then it updates my changes so this is extremely useful for anybody who wants to do instant changes to people and like let's say you're on a video conference that should you know that's showing people what you have you can instantly update your, your local progress and then show it to people so this is very important is that this port will be open as long as this command is run so anybody can actually access this so um, I've only touched the surface of what Angra can do uh, if you go to the docs page you can see a ton of features that they can help you with so you should go to angrok.com and see how it works and I cannot recommend this highly enough and I hope you find this tool useful and by the way guys I started a newsletter uh, if you go to pentacle.com and then go to news you can sign up for a newsletter in the news page this newsletter will not spam you with unnecessary things every day it will send you a list of web dev news straight to your email so you can you will never miss anything that happens in the web dev world so check it out guys i'll see you guys in the next video